once again I came alone and in darkness to the house of my parents. The house that was no longer theirs. As you should know, Master, a physician can turn his skill to taking life, as well as to saving it. Your father left this for you. Read it. To Sinue, our son, we are grieved for your sake because you have met with ill fortune. Do not regret that you were required to sell our tomb, for all existence is vanity. We desire no life in the hereafter. Remember always that we blessed you before we left. For you who came to us from the river when we were already old, were the greatest joy of our lives. May your heart be shielded from sorrow. Such is the desire of your father, your mother. here in the house of death. I brought you the bodies of a man and a woman to be preserved by your art so that they may enjoy eternal life. As you say, we are artists here. What can you pay for our services? I have nothing. Nothing? Throw this carrion in the river. Wait. I'm willing to work here to pay for the embalming. For as long as you say I must. Work here. Only condemned criminals and the accursed of the gods seek work in the house of death. There is no man here who is not better than I am. Put him to work. For 90 days, I labored among the accursed in the house of death. It was as if I had died myself. And only my servant captor knew what I had done or where I was. What are you doing here? Speak or I'll bash your head in. Are you a god? God. No god would dare show his face here after dark. You're a grave robber. I didn't come here to steal. What do you want there? I brought my parents here to bury them. In the valley of the kings? 
I hoped that if I buried them here, they might share the wealth of the pharaohs in the other world. Other world? Huh. It's true there are many pharaohs planted here, but I have yet to see one of them putting on any shoots. And it's certain they don't see the gifts, because we get them first. You don't believe in another life. They did. You're a strange one. I'll help you dig. <laughs> I wish somehow I could mark their graves. Marked or unmarked, it's all the same. 20 years to build a pyramid, or 10 minutes to scrape a hole in the sand. The dead are dead no matter where we put them. In the end, the sand conquers all. Every grain of sand will outlive every man alive and every man that ever will be born. Immortality? <laughs> I hold it in my hand. Only the little grains of sand will never die. Listen, a jackal, a jackal with two legs, one of my friends warning us there's a stranger coming, here in the shadow. days in the house of death. 